Linda's making popcorn. Hmm. Logan says he likes all of you guys. You seem very nice. Aww. He clearly he doesn't, him. Yeah, he <laughs> clearly doesn't know us well enough. I, I, think, I think he's just being polite. Yeah. Little, Honestly, little. We're gonna we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about this because there I've never seen an interaction like that in my life between. I just robot to robot. No, no, no. Anyway, anyway, let's. Let's let's get started here. Live on the air. All right, the best part of the show, though. Myth or mystery? the weekly panel show where our panel here with the help of our viewers decide if the videos or images we're watching tonight are myth, mystery, or unknown. Remember, this series is heavily reliant on our viewers voting on the videos each week. So please share this out to get more people to join in and you can vote for the videos on YouTube. You can go to at myth or mystery live. Once again, if you want to vote on the videos and we love your comments, but if you want to vote on the videos, you do have to go to YouTube and that is at Myth or Mystery Live. Now let's go ahead and meet our panel tonight. It's it's a very exciting night, and we're gonna we're gonna get to that in a second here. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna start. My name is Greg Bakken, and I'm a paranormal investigator for the last 15 years. Even though I've been saying I've been doing it for 15 years for about five years, so who knows where I'm at now? My favorite way of communicating with spirit is through ITC methods, mainly the Spirit Box. I've had a lot of success using it. And I also host Ghost Box Radio and AM 950 Radio and streaming on Ghost Box Radio with Greg Bakken, Facebook, Monday through Friday at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, bringing some fantastic conversations to you regarding the paranormal, ufology, Bigfoot, and so much more. I also, on Sunday nights, I do a special called Ghost Box Live, where I take my spirit box and we reach out to people's loved ones. And that's always Sunday nights at 10 p.m. streaming on places like Get Haunted, Ghost Box Radio, and other places as well. We now move on to Miss Harlow. Uh, Harlow is co-producer, graphic artist, research, and video researcher. Harlow is also a writer and illustrator with her book, Plugged Into the Paranormal, about her lifelong paranormal experiences. You can find her book on Amazon. We've been saying this for weeks. I hope that uh, some of you have gone out there to get the book. Uh, she has also been working and was able to to uh, get our website out. So I hope that you've gone out there to check that out too. Harlow just put so much work into the show and uh, she just always is always thinking and always making the show better. With that being said, bye Harlow. We're going to get rid of you for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to be hearing and seeing uh, her throughout the show. And as I always say, we normally see her when I screw up. So uh, that is, that is uh, just a fact right there. Also, tonight we have with us, we're going to welcome back Ghost Inspector Greg. Look at that. Trying to send a password over. So, <laughs> having some technical that's my, that's my request. I'm asking for a password. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Let me get the blue out of your eyes, everybody. What what on earth is going on over there? I'm just well, trying to. Not a password, but, a, but, the, but the stream key. I'm Go. All I'm trying to do is run a show over here, folks. And you're all just kind of talking about security issues. I don't know what's going on over here. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, now, Ghost Inspector Greg, also known as Gig, is that, am I saying that right? Is that, is that a Merriam thing or do you, Greg, do you really go by that? I don't go by that, but yes, you know, I, I'm not hey. offended by it. Okay. Hey, hey, that's not a Merriam thing. Someone in the comments. <laughs> 
Somebody in the comments referred to him as Gig. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it has you written all over it, okay? That's all I know. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, Gig, do you like that? Are you okay with that? I'm, I'm you know, okay. okay. Right. You bet. All right. I just, I don't want... You know, she she, I mean, she calls this 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 gentleman down in the corner here a robot. I mean, you know, the 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 emotional strain on him is pretty unbelievable. Um, which we'll yep. talk more about and break that down further in a moment. Thanks, Jeremy. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, yeah. Gig will be joining us the last Thursday of each month. You know him from our weekly viral video segments. They're always fun. Uh, Ghost Inspector Greg is a fourth generation paranormal investigator, having his first paranormal experience as a kid working with his father, and is known as the Celebrity Ghost Whisperer. So for his work with Celebrity Spirits. And that you can't really make gig out of that, right? It'd be CGW. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, so we'll stick with gig, I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Although me and Johnny Ramone, you know, we, we, we played a little gig together, you know, at his <laughs> gravesite. So maybe. Yeah, well, there you go. You got it. That's perfect. And then Ryan. Ryan is a 15-year uh, paranormal investigator, evidence go-to guy. Uh, Ryan is good at finding things no one else has found, whether we like it or not. Uh, we'll, he'll hit you with some cold, hard facts. Um, he is he is hardwired into the universe, so uh, just make sure that you are aware of that because he can see everything you're doing. Uh, Miriam, and uh, kind of exciting tonight, Miriam, right? Because tonight is our monthly trivia drawing. Oh my God! I wanted to say it. So you didn't say it in the script that that's what you're saying. I wanted to say tonight is the month. But but your microphone didn't work. We didn't hear anything, quite frankly. So what happened? Did it didn't did it echo? It, no, it was like I mean, is that just me, folks? It was just kind of mumbling, like. So that's kind of He's what like I was. the teacher in Charlie Brown. It, it was, it was a, kind of a nasally <laughs> version of it. So I'm texting right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, just Sorry, let us know when you're me right now. Just, I was gonna say, just let us know when you're available to do the show, and we'll 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 continue on. Greg, just let me right. make this really easy. Hey, Greg, it's the stream key. Remember the thing we pulled up earlier? Yeah. Now like, that that's the one I want. I gotta find that now. <laughs> Remember that's on Instagram? Remember we pulled it? It should still be Ooh. up on your Instagram page. Oh, okay. Good. You guys can just hang. Linda's got popcorn. Linda, share the popcorn with everybody else. <laughs> Hi, Candy. Candy's new. Wait, I don't have my glasses and, on. And probably won't be back is my guess, but. Uh... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we're trying to get, just so you guys know, we're trying to get Greg, Ghost Inspector Greg, set up Gig. on his in Gig. 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 Yeah. Who came up with that? Was that Linda? No, I think it was Skeleton Crew. We're trying to get him set up on his Instagram page. I'm going to give Stephanie the credit. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Jeremy is an off base. Yeah. And I think that applies to either Greg's, quite frankly. Um, the, Miriam, I was in the middle of introducing you. Should, should we just skip that part? Because it's not very important. Um, or are we... <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you took away the fun part. Yeah, yeah. so tonight, um, guess what, you guys? Tonight we're going to do the monthly trivia drawing. Oh, my God. That's it. That's all I got. All right. Well, that was worth it. Miriam is our psychic <laughs> medium who specializes in remote viewing, aliens, and clearing dark energies. She is also a teacher of spirituality, the paranormal, and bridging the gap between the two. Harlow and Miriam also have the podcast, True Crime Psychic Eye, now streaming here on YouTube at the YouTube page, Myth or Mystery Live. Make sure you check that out. Now, last week's show, if you missed last week's show, we analyzed multiple videos submitted by a family of Castle, Oklahoma, home who has been experiencing continued uh, paranormal activity. You can watch the full episode on YouTube at Myth or Mystery Live. Now, I, before we go any further, I do want to say, uh, Gig, uh, that uh, with you, um, you know, you weren't there when you kind of could have seen the most awkward interaction in the in the in the universe. And that is and I I am no I am no expert with children. OK, let's just be honest about that. I I really don't understand them. But then there's Marion who <laughs> takes it to a level I've never seen before. It literally is like, hello, small human. How are you? And it, it's it's 
I don't know. I mean, it's it's Who's I, the robot in the room, me or Ryan. It's it was, yeah. uh, you know, I, I, I consider it more like, um, I don't know, like not of this earth, perhaps, um, you know, just like I you are a compliment. You you were you were kind of like you must be what they call a child. You know, I mean, that was kind of the way I saw that. It was just very yeah, so I'm going to tell you a story because it's relevant. Uh, we uh, the other day, we, our neighbors, they have a newborn and then they have a I guess he's I don't know, four or five years old. Uh, he might be 10 for all we know. I think he's four or five years old. And anyway, they're really sweet. And the little boy always loves to talk to us because I don't know why. And so I always make sure to, to, to try and communicate with them. And so I, they were in the, they were, we were in the garage here in the apartment complex and the little boys in the back seat and his new brothers in the baby seats, like a few weeks old, or I don't know, maybe a few months old. Uh, who knows? He maybe graduated high school last year. I don't know, but he's still a baby. And I'm sitting there talking to the four-year-old and then the, the infant starts like crying. And I, I go, I go to the mom, I jump up and I'm like, oh my God, it's crying, it's crying. And she's like, she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, first off, I referred to your child as an it and I apologize. Second, it's crying and I don't know what to do with that. So I'm going to go. <laughs> and she's like, wait, you don't like kids? And I said, I don't know what to do with them. I yeah. don't know what to do with them. That was pretty obvious tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you you thought uh you thought that uh, his uh, nine-year-old son was like in college and uh that that i even i think that's a little bit off um so. i didn't all i said i said somehow we got on the topic of his baseball game and he said he lost and i said well whose fault was it right that's good parenting and he, it is good parenting <laughs> and you should go back and reprimand whoever missed that one point it's ridiculous. I need the name of my enemies, you know. Uh, so, okay, a couple things here to to unbox here, real Get fast. Get back on track. First, first of all, I I have never held a baby in my life. Thank have God. you ever Have you ever held a baby, Miriam? Yes, and honestly, you guys, you ready for a bombshell? When I was in my early twenties, I was a teacher's aide for preschoolers. Yeah. I'm sure that worked well, real well. <laughs> <laughs> I played right now, with them. Right now I'm holding I'm holding a big baby right now. That would be you. <laughs> big crying baby. Right That's fair. Um I did well. I played with them. I would get in the little pool with them. I didn't do a lot of teaching. Uh, I don't I don't even All know. Right. We digressed, and we were losing viewers by the second here. People. Yeah, Come I think on. people people are shocked by your inhumanity, quite frankly. Uh, Ghost Inspector Greg, welcome yeah. back. Well, thank you. For nice sure. to have I'm you with you. us tonight. Uh, and uh, we're gonna you're gonna take part in the uh, in in the in the analysis, and it's gonna be it's gonna be great. And uh, it, we're just gonna have a, a great time tonight. So for those of you who have not joined us before. Uh, let's see here. Myth or Mystery is an interactive paranormal show with a panel of seasoned paranormal investigators and mediums, plus audience participation. The panel will individually determine myth, mystery, or unknown. Myth is not paranormal. Mystery is paranormal. Unknown means not paranormal, but may not be man-made or faked either. The audience has polled throughout the show to determine their analysis of each video, myth, mystery, or unknown. When the panel is not unanimous, the audience polling will be the tiebreaker. The audience will also have opportunities to win prizes via the Paranormal Trivia Question segment. If you're watching on Facebook, why not jump over to YouTube to do the polling? That's the only way that you can vote on the videos you're going to see tonight. YouTube polling is at Myth or Mystery Live. Once again, that is over at Myth or Mystery Live. Now, there are as many people creating fake paranormal and UFO videos as these days, as there are people trying to capture genuine evidence. Add to that the capabilities of modern technology, such as hologram projections, jetpacks, and programmable drones. It is becoming increasingly more difficult to know what is real. That's why shows like ours, Myth or Mystery, are important in helping us to remember to always use our intuition and evaluate with a critical eye. So are we ready to get to image number one? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So 
Um, now, to start off with, uh, you, the audience, uh, voted not to analyze either of last week's viral videos. When this <laughs> happens, we turn to our viral audience submissions. And that's, that's supposed to be me. Here we go. <laughs> so please share with us the viral videos that you're interested in, whether they make you feel something intuitively or you're curious if a myth or mystery, if you know, either way, we just want to know why behind why you chose to submit that video. And I'm going to read that again because I really just messed that up. Uh, once again, whether they make you feel something intuitively or you're just curious if the video that you're looking at is myth, mystery, or even unknown, we want to know the why behind that uh, So and why you chose that video to submit to us. Please submit a video via our website, mythormysterylive.com. Your name will remain anonymous if you choose, but it's, uh, it's uh, really... It's really important. And once again, we're not going to go after, you know, we're not going to rip someone apart for what they, they send to us. We, we want to see what you're thinking. We, we love the, the interaction. So please make sure that you do that. Uh, with that being said, uh, audience, when we, we're going to do image number one now, uh, you will vote before the panel analysis. Video number one is going to be played twice. You will then have a total of 60 seconds or one minute to complete your vote. Here we go with image number one. This viral video from YouTube is submitted to us by one of our viewers. Watch this. It received 4.8 million views and 126,000 likes. Her questions regarding it are, is what we are seeing in the video two animals side by side or one animal with a deep shadow? And was the thing that ran away a spirit? Or was the shadow a spirit? Our Myth or Mystery panel will analyze this video to provide answers. Submit your viral video and question to be eligible to win a myth or mystery magnet. All right, polls are now closed. Panel will begin their analysis after the panel analysis. You, the audience, will get your chance to vote again. Uh, for tonight's viral submission, the question for the panel is this. Is this video two animals standing side by side or one animal with a deep shadow? And was the shadow that ran away a spirit or was it the deep shadow that was 
the spirit. Um, Marian, we're going to start with you tonight. Uh, why don't uh, you let us know what you think? All right. Uh, one sec. I want to put this up. So for the person who submitted this, we are keeping, we're going to keep you guys anonymous because some people may not want to be, you know, called out or known. Um, but for the person who submitted this, you are welcome to put in the comments if you want to, if you have more questions or want to engage. But this is the question they were going to ask us. You guys voted on whether or not it is a myth or a mystery. So, um, so there's a couple things that I want to talk about for me here. Uh, I feel, <clears throat> first off, I want to try something new. Uh, I, 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 there's, there's an energy in that space for sure, but it's not related to this. Okay. So there's a difference between, uh, what we're feeling with what your, what we're feeling and what we're actually seeing. What we're actually seeing is not uh, anything paranormal, but I do feel that there is something in that space, but it's not connected to what we're looking at. I feel like what we're looking at is very uh, man-made, human. Like I, you guys have heard me in the past say it's very uh, dense, meaning that it's, it's it's not a uh, spirit. So to answer the question that's being asked, uh, I don't feel that this is a deep shadow. I don't feel like there is um, anything else going on there. Now, I wasn't able to see something running away. If that's where I was saying, if you did see something run away, I do feel multiple energies living in this space. And it could have been that that uh, people were picking up on or noticing. Uh, but for me, I would have to go uh, myth on this because I just don't feel that the two are related. All right. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we're going to move over to Gig. And uh, Gig, what, what, what are you thinking tonight with this video? Well, first off, I'm going to assume that that's uh, uh, some sort of stuffed animal or something like that, because if it's real and that person kicked it like that, now, you know, that kind of makes me upset. But right. um, so I'm, I'm going to guess stuffed animal and so uh, and, and maybe a, a, a string moving the head up and down, <laughs> I, I, you know, he's fishing line. I don't know. Um, and as far as the, the shadow uh, you know, that takes off. Um, uh, it's, it's really questionable to me whether that's something taken off or just, you know, something with the, uh, you know, with the lighting um, there. Um, so, you know, if, if this is real and that's a real weird animal of some sort, again, I'm mad, but it's it would be kind of cool, uh, but I'm going to have to go myth on this. All right. Uh, I am going to go next. Thank you for that, uh, Greg. Uh, so first of all, I, I am actually surprised, Miriam, that you didn't uh, point out the the uh, kicking of, of that animal or whatever it is. And I'm very much with uh, uh, Ghost Inspector Greg in the sense that it's like when he when it does get hit, I really do hope that that's a stuffed animal or something because head and neck just kind of like wobble a little bit kind of like a stuffed animal would and yeah we do see the head move at the beginning of it but it's so far away right um and then same with Miriam again when uh when when we go up and i did not see a shadow run away myself and when when Miriam brought it up i'm like boy i completely missed that uh i mean and the only shadow i'm looking at is this very deep dark one that is mimicking the moves of that animal when especially when uh it is uh being kicked so i definitely see this also as myth as well sorry i don't i don't, I don't get a, i don't get it i mean <laughs> i always forget someone <laughs> it's always and it's always me uh we let's need just... to pay someone to do that <laughs> yeah yeah Absolutely. All right, uh, Ryan, what what do you got for us? All right. Um, 
You want to throw mine up there instead? So I slowed this one down a little bit um, just so we can kind of, and it's going to loop around here a couple times. One thing I noticed is the way that this thing drops down, it's like it's being lifted up and then somebody just drops it suddenly. Mm -hmm. um, I, I did notice right in here, there's a rope or something hanging there. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It kind of starts here and goes across right above my line there. Mm. Um, so I don't, I personally don't see anything actually pulling and lifting it. Um, but to me, it looks like it's being lifted and then dropped. Uh, and then the shadow is definitely weird to me. Uh, I slowed this way down. The way that the shadow responds to the light on the camera, it's not moving the same direction as a light. So there's like another light source. Um, something else is illuminating that. Just everything about this seems off, the shadow and everything. Um, I did want to touch too. This thing is mounted on a base right here. There's the base and then the, mm. sorry, I'm way off tonight. Right there is the stem of it. So it is like a kid's ride or something. I don't know, maybe a, a fake thing for an amusement park. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely some kind of a, a toy, I want to say. Um, and then as I was going through it frame by frame, I did... There is one frame here where I don't know if this is because of the frame rate of the camera, what happened, but everything seems to be kind of duplicated. If you look at that back leg, you can really see the, oh, yeah. see it right in here. You got one and then you got another one coming across and the shadow does the same thing where we got one shadow here and then another shadow coming across here. I don't know what all that means, but it doesn't look right to me. Um, nothing about this is right in the in terms of the the thing running away i honestly don't see anything running away i see a shadow responding to it being kicked um for me this is myth all the way i, I don't see anything other than a myth all right sorry i'm not there one sec There, there we go. Now, yeah. now we can keep the show I moving mean, here. <laughs> does it get more professional than that? I don't think so. Uh, no, it's 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 something that's for sure. Uh, okay, so and and Ryan, if you're saying that that's like a, a like a carnival ride or something, I suppose now you're gonna want to get that for your kids, right? No, they have enough stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now to the audience, um, did your analysis change at all? Whether it did or did not, please vote again. Once again, whether it did or did not, please vote again. Because we want to know if the panel has shifted your viewpoint on image number one. And remember, uh, even if your analysis did not change, please vote the same one more time. Here is the countdown to go vote. Now, before we go to audience analysis, once again, I don't know what I need to do to, for my script to follow it and actually get it right. Uh, so, Ryan, why don't we start off with, can, can we get the poll numbers from before this last round of uh, voting, the pre-analysis? Okay. Pre-analysis, pre we're at 55% myth, 22% mystery, and 22% unknown. Wow. Okay. All right. 
and you know maybe i'll pay more attention to the show instead of trying to think of what i'm going to say about you or miriam uh next uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so okay so the panel had their chance to uh give their analysis now it's time for the audience to do so what do we got from the uh, audience yeah so i'm looking at i'm trying to go back to see what you guys are saying other than just talking shit about me just kidding <laughs> <laughs> why would anyone do that <laughs> um oh thank you michael for sharing oh thank you all right okay my mom is talking smack about me what else is new right. myth or mystery mom or myth or mystery nana uh okay so jeremy uh it almost like it's being lifted and then pulled back so, and then Anthony says they see the same thing. PNW says that shadow is odd. It looks like a fake shadow. Yeah, <laughs> I that too. Giraffes are a myth anyway. That's what I thought. I thought it was like a giraffe. <laughs> Llama. Uh, yeah, and I didn't acknowledge it being kicked because it's a stuffed animal. <laughs> FYI. Yeah, that's what I saw in the slow mo. Yeah, that's pretty cruel to stuffed animals. Yeah, right? I know. I mean, it's mounted to that structure below. I'd like to, like, like to. Oh, I'd, I was going to say, did he say I'd like to write it? All right, it's a different show. Um, <laughs> that one starts at midnight. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a premium subscription. Yep, yep. That's that's going to cost you. <laughs> All right, we've got our numbers, but Ryan, I'm coming. Ready? I'm really on slow motion tonight. So I'm like multitasking, mm -hmm. triple tasking. Right. So afterwards, Ooh. we were at 83%, zero mystery, and 16% unknown. So this this is why incredible. this is why I love doing this, this yeah. uh, extra vote. That is pretty incredible. Isn't yep. that no, fun? I do I love, love that extra vote, after. too. Absolutely. Sorry, Ryan. I, I talked over the robot. So, say it I'm, again. I'm used to it. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go there you go hey but it was a fun video it, it was, was it was a fun video thank you for submitting and guys um don't forget just go to our website myth or mystery live.com and whatever viral videos are out there that you're drawn to submit them awesome yeah please keep doing so now it's time for myth or mystery viral video segment brought to you by ghost inspector greg also known as gig Audience, please let us know if you'd like to see viral video number one, viral video number two, or both or neither analyzed. Voting is open on YouTube. You just need to go over once again to at Myth or Mystery Live. Once again, to go vote whether or not you want to see viral video one or two, both or neither analyzed. Voting is open over at YouTube at Myth or Mystery Live. Even though he's live with us right in here, Let's take a look at what Greg has for us this week. Welcome back to another Viral Videos with Ghost Inspector Greg. Let's get into it. Could this be King Triton himself? Well, there's nothing like a late night stroll when you're a ghost. Let us know what you think by voting at Myth or Mystery. 
All right. Thank you very much for that. After trivia, we're going to announce the polling numbers from the viral video segment, if I remember to bring them up again. Uh, before we get to that, though, uh, Ghost Inspector Greg, uh, tell us a little bit about how you find and pick your videos. Okay. Well, a lot of research, a lot of searching. Um, uh, fortunately, I, I get people that, um, that, that submit stuff to me, too. Um, uh, and, and, and that's a big help. One, one thing that was kind of cool, there's uh, something I'll be posting uh, maybe into next week, is, uh, 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 oh, well, she calls herself the, the mermaid medium. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. and, uh, and is she so, a mermaid? <laughs> well, you know, she does have pink hair. And what's great about this video is, uh, is you know, she gets, you know, she gets some EVPs and it says, uh, the, it said the, the, the pink hair does it. And then it said, is there a husband? So it was pretty, that's a, a pretty cool video in the sense for, you know, captures of, uh, of an EVP like that, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, it's like me being told to F off and get out of there. I mean, you know, it's, it's just amongst the cool stuff. That so. Is. Anyway, that's but but yeah, crazy. that's how I usually get all that sort of stuff. That's, that's really cool. cool. How many how many videos do you get in like a, a week? Would you say? Um, as far as from people, yeah, uh, four or five probably. That's a good amount. Yeah, and you know, and I I search around and find a bunch more. Um, a lot of it is you know goofy, but you know, uh, just see what see what throw it at the fan and see what sticks. You know what I, I mean. I was going to say, it's not for us to decide, right? Yeah. I mean, it's totally. Yeah. So uh, do you have any in interesting investigations coming up or ones that you've done recently that you want to talk about? Well, I did go back to the um, uh, mausoleum where I was cussed out and uh, and had additional interaction there that I'm, I, I tend to, uh, uh, to also post. And it was a lot more friendly. Um, so, so that was great. And... Uh, uh, a lot of a lot of things, you know, on you know, on the horizon. I'm going to go to uh, 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 the uh, you know, basically the bridge over in Pasadena, which is a suicide bridge, unfortunately. Yeah. And I do plan on being very respectful in that regard. But uh, I plan on going there very soon, within the next uh, week, probably. Okay, very cool. Uh, thank you, and once again, folks, uh, Ghost Inspector Greg joins us live the last Thursday of every month. And it's great to have you with us tonight. It's really fun to, to be able to Love interact with you live. So Love being here. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Now, tonight is the last Thursday of the month. So we have our trivia drawing. And uh, who will win a Myth or Mystery t-shirt tonight? And that's what we're hoping to find out here very soon. All right. This is this is what did you already draw? No, I I want to um tell everyone whose names are in here. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I'm like, my God. Okay. So yes, please let let us let us know that. Okay, Sarah R and Emily, but I didn't see Emily in the comment. <laughs> now we won't ever know who that is. <laughs> did you guys see what I just did? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you ruined it. You know, it's, pa it's, it's paper, right? It's not rock or something, you know. Just remember it's, that. It's Linda Judd. Okay, so Emily, Linda Sarah Judd. R., and Linda Judd. Linda Judd. Okay. Uh, we need the... Uh... The snare Come drum? On. Okay, All right. hold on. I forget what I'm doing. God, tonight has been a busy night. Tonight? <laughs> It's been a very busy night. I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm here and I'm ready. Did we start the show yet? No. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. You ready? You ready? Okay. Remember, it's an extended drum roll that I like to do. So <sighs> I'm nervous. Okay. Right, here we go. How do you do this? Okay. I mean, how do you play the drums? That's what I meant to say. My lashes stuck together. Hold on. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Ooh, it's 
been quite a night, folks. <gasps> it's Emily. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Yay! I don't think she's here tonight. She's always here. I'm worried. Someone call her. Someone FaceTime her. <laughs> Live. <laughs> Live. On the show. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yay, and, uh, that was fun. Thank you. Good. Very good. All right. So we start we start anew, and tonight uh, we are going to live on the air at a new name for our trivia contest. Once again, folks, you're going to have five seconds to answer the question, and if you're over on YouTube, you get a little bit of a uh, like a head start on it. And so uh, we're going to we're going to do that right now. Let me get my stuff lined up here. Another amazing trivia question is about to be in, un, unfold in front of you. How many acres is the Skinwalker Ranch? Once again, how many acres is the Skinwalker Ranch? You have five seconds to put your answers in. I have five seconds to get the buzzer ready. Here you go. All right. Once again, the question is, how many acres is the Skywalker Ranch? Uh, <laughs> close. Well, not close. Uh, okay. Uh, nope. A little bit more than that. Oh, uh, look. Whoa. Look at that. Chuck. Oh, no, good job, Chuck. 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 I mean, I hope. Up, Chuck. Now, Chuck might have heard it in, he might already know, and I don't want to make it sound like that he gets his information from me, but I did, we did say it in last night's episode of Ghost Box Radio with Greg Bakken, airs nightly, Monday through Friday at 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, he's trying to plug his show. I'm trying to keep up here. All right. Uh, Chuck, Sticks Boy, right? Yep. Yep. There we you're are. In. You're officially in. The first for the June drawing. The first for the June drawing. Yeah, I took everyone else out. Yeah. So there you go. That was that was fun. That was the right amount of time for a trivia. It wasn't five minutes like it normally is. So appreciate that very much. <laughs> All right. Let's find out the results Ooh. from the viral videos. Yes. Oh, Are you just ready? Hold on. <laughs> I, I need my glasses. Okay. Um, okay, I'm ready. So we just did the trivia, right? So let's find out the results of the viral video segment. Yeah, we were at 11% uh, of you wanted video one, 52% said video two, 5% said both, and 29% said neither. So neither. There we go. Video two. Cool. All right. All right. So people Thank don't believe you. in King Triton, I guess. You know, an aerial, and you know, I mean, you know, they're they're a real thing. I mean, yeah, you know. people. What's she wrong gets... with you? What's wrong with our audi audience tonight? Geez. No, no. Well, I think I think you've been being too nice to them lately. Quite frankly, <laughs> me. Yeah. What is? Hold on. Linda always asks the best questions. Linda Judd. <laughs> oh, what is this? A test? Oh, what what happened? Did I miss something? <laughs> oh yeah, Chuck did. You guys talked about it. Greg, don't do that. Or that do it more up. because if you want to get a head heads up, listen to Ghost Box Radio on AM 950 Monday <laughs> through Friday at 10 p.m. Okay, stop plugging your show. We get it. Go listen to Greg on Ghost Box Radio. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm definitely going to. Right, because oh. you, you want to be able to get to trivia questions, right? Right. <laughs> okay, right. so Jeremy, I've been meaning to get to you because I've been seeing you. Um, <laughs> first off, Jeremy blamed me for us being late, which, <laughs> listen, when you okay. unravel what happened tonight, it's 100% my fault. It, it is absolutely true. 100%. And we didn't discuss how annoying Ryan's been. So <laughs> let's just throw that in. Anyway, we will talk about the pre-show. We're uh, uh, sorry, I don't want to segue to pre-show yet. But Ryan got Ryan really triggered me tonight. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. So listen, listen really quick. What happened is we're doing we're recording our pre-show because we want to give you guys another opportunity to win merchandise, right? But uh, and Ryan's like, "Well, are you sure that having two links before the show goes live isn't going to be confusing?" And I'm like, "No." So it starts off with. 
all of us except Ryan jumping on the wrong link. Oh no, <laughs> Ryan and Harlow were on the right link, and then we it was a whole thing. Point being, Ryan might have been right. Then we're on the first link. I sent the wrong link to Ghost Inspector Greg. And so then Ryan's like, hey, where's go? It was like a whole mess. So it was all my fault. I, I was feeling so lonely in there, just, just all by myself. Well, yeah. I'd, I'd love to explain what triggered me tonight uh, since we're, we're doing this and it feels very <laughs> therapeutical was so I'm, I'm going through the script as a good person would to make sure that I understand it. And there was an issue with image one last week. And so I, I see it there again and I, and I put it to the group text. I think there's something uh, that's not correct with image one. And uh, Miriam and I'm going to try to get the voice right. Miriam was was like. What are you talking about? And uh, just like, like, I didn't say, I didn't say, what are you talking about? I said, what are you talking about? Like, you need to be more specific. Like, we I don't just understand. The, we're just talking about the script and the text. I mean, to me, it doesn't seem like that. That's too. Oh, stop! Yo, know, look at look yeah. at what you're putting up on the screen. I'll, I'll, I'll throw more in. Greg, I knew exactly what you meant when you sent the text. Thank okay, you. you know what? Let's talk about how Anthony likes Ryan's two-shirt swag. <laughs> um, no, I know, I know. You're right, Greg. You, you genuinely, I know you're right. I, I get it. I was wrong. You guys are all right. I genuinely was wrong. Listen, I'm the first to admit when I'm wrong. But let's go back and revisit something really quick. Okay, this has become a thorn in our side. Between <laughs> Myth or Mystery Nana, Linda Judd, and now Crack Skull. Yeah, Everyone I love their team. And Ghost Inspector Greg. We need to take out the neither option. I'm sorry. Mob rule. <laughs> I demoralizing I, to me. It's <laughs> it's demoralizing. I you know what? I just feel like if this show was all about what the group wants, blah blah. And the group sounds like they want us to take the neither out. Also, I need my mom to stop harassing me. So Okay, either I, way, I, I, I'm I'm not hurt. I'm not offended. I'm gonna, it just drives me to find better stuff. There you go. Send it to well, show. but if everyone wants us to take it out, maybe we will. Let's go back to this. Thank you, KD Paranormal. I appreciate it. I didn't say thank you. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we're moving on <laughs> now to. <laughs> <laughs> what do on, we do? We're moving on to image number two. We're not on image number two yet. Um, let's see here. Uh, we're we're lost. I, uh, audience, we're you're going to vote. You're going to vote before the panel does their analysis. Image number two will be on screen for approximately one minute. You'll then have a total of sixty seconds or one minute to complete your vote. Let's start by playing image number two right now. Pacific Northwest Paranormal captured this video during an investigation at a location that was once a hospital. In the video, you can see the grid from the Xbox Kinect camera for the SLS, but two unexplained anomalies are also recorded. One of the shapes swiping through quickly in center frame, and another white anomaly in the bottom left by the trash can. It's currently a community center, and there's speculation as to which area was the morgue. This is a large facility, and the team was checking out as many rooms as possible. Downstairs, in an office space, while using EMF devices, they received strange readings they couldn't debunk, so investigated further with different equipment. REM pods started going off. One of the members brought out an SLS.
All right, polls are now closed. Panel's going to begin their analysis. After the panel analysis, you, the audience, will get your chance to vote again. Okay, why don't uh, we go ahead and we start with uh, Miriam. And uh, what do you have for us? <clears throat> you know me. This is going to be a minute. Get comfortable, guys. So, so tonight is not the night you're going to be able to watch my show, folks, just to let you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> just watch it every other night. Don't, like, Thursday nights is for us. We're a family. We need to take our time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, the bottom left, the light in the bottom left. So, Okay. Because I can't, I can't pinpoint where I'm feeling this energy from. If it's talking to me from the light on the left or the thing coming from the top, because that thing that swoops in is uh, there's this a angry energy that's there, and but then that's what I get when that light swoops in. That's immediately what I experience is anger. And then the light on the bottom is different. It's two different experiences, two different energies. Uh, so, but I, but there's also this straight, the, the light that comes from the front, there's also this weird combination of density. So feeling earthly human and so meaning meaning like uh, is it a light from something else like it feels like there's a combination of two things happening with that uh but overall i feel this energy connected to the one that is very angry i feel a, a energy connected to that lower one down by the garbage can that's much calmer much not i don't want to say necessarily at peace because it's still choosing to be there but it's uh it's it, it's just a more um balanced energy um neither one of these though are necessarily spirits as much as they are saying they are spirits that are making themselves seen, but you aren't, uh, by utilizing the light, but these specific light energies aren't like spirits manifesting their spirits, utilizing light to show that they are there. That's, that's where I'm at. And it's two different energies, but both of them feel masculine. One feels younger, much, much, much younger than the other one. So I say mystery. All right. And uh, there we have it. Very cool. Uh, let's move on to uh, Ghost Inspector Greg. What, what do you think on this? Oh, man. Well, um, so, uh, you know, I, I'm troubled by one thing. I don't mean to step on Ryan's toes, but, you know, the uh, the shadow from the trash can kind of going up and down like there's some sort of light that's been moving. Um, so in that regard, I'm, I'm, I'm a little curious about that. However, uh, the first anomaly um, tends to jet outward, okay, and... Uh, it's not like it's flashing across the camera. It's jetting outward. And I find that very interesting. And uh, uh, even more so, the light down in the bottom uh, left, um, you know, it would it should carry on through the trash can. And, uh, and you could see the light right there a little bit. But when it comes across, uh, it's gone. It doesn't carry through the trash can. And you know, this is a very organic video, right? Because it's somebody sending us their their personal stuff. And so it's not like it's somebody out there concocting one of these videos that, you know, obviously uh, I come across every day. And uh, uh, so I'm going to say this is an absolute mystery to me. I love this one. All right. Very cool. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, I'm going to go next here. And uh, let me see here and uh oops there we go uh so uh, you know I, I i think i'm just gonna mirror a lot of what uh greg had said here um you know i you know it's always you know it's kind of like i'm i'm afraid i'm gonna be electrocuted any moment because i know that ryan is behind me 
and I know that it's going to be like, you know, the flashlight that you didn't see is, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, He's but so annoying. I mean, gosh, I don't even know why. God, I can feel the love. Yeah, gosh. Um, so uh, with that being said, you know, I'm just, I, this is this is a true, for if, if, if you want to be on this program, you have to be able to be like, okay, I just got to go with my convictions re regardless of what, you know, Hurricane Ryan's going to say afterwards. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff here that, you know, you could be like, oh, it might have been faked or anything else. And what really kind of holds it together for me is it's it's coming from a, a, a noted paranormal team, just like Greg said. And uh, that that holds that holds a great deal for me. And, I, you know, I, I like I like the light on the bottom left uh, going by the trash can. Um, and then I also that that whatever that is sweeping in, I, I think that's really cool. And I haven't done this in a while, but uh, I am going to say, in my opinion, that this is a mystery tonight as well. So I had my finger on the trigger. Did you? Did you? Did you think that that's where I was going to go? Honestly, I don't know anymore with you guys. <laughs> well, this this is going to be the interesting one here because uh, I already see. Oh, I see. I see slow motion in our future. That's for sure. Um, well, there will be slow motion. That's for sure. Oh, here we go. Buckle in, folks. <laughs> All right. So the one that we got was um, already slowed down. I went out and I found, actually, Harlow went out and found the full speed version. So I want to play that one for you guys so you can see kind of how fast this all works. We'll play it a couple times here for you. Well, that first thing that comes through that happens so fast. And the second one's a lot slower. I want to focus on this first, uh, I'm sorry, this first one. I went through, uh, this is at about 20% speed. Um, it's got such defined arcs and ridges in there. Um, you know, it's got these things going on throughout the whole thing, mm -hmm. which really makes me wonder what would cause that. Looking around the room, I'm not seeing anything that would cause that reflection. There is the antenna from the REM pod. It doesn't really kick off, but it does kind of shine a light, and it goes down, kind of follows the same pattern. Right here, you'll see it go down at the same time the thing comes in and down. That's the only thing that's got me kind of wondering. Now, I've worked with the SLS camera a lot. Greg, you and I have played with them quite a bit. Yep. Um, the way that it works is it shoots out a grid of thousands of infrared like laser beams. That's what it looks like when you're looking through an infrared camera. Each one of these is basically a laser that can reflect off of anything. Um, when you turn around and look at the camera, you see these little marks that come off of the camera. Each one of these. That's how it picks up in the camera itself. And when I put them kind of side by side, we have these arcs coming off here that kind of mirror the same pattern. So what I'm wondering is, it's, is it reflecting off of here causing this, that arcing motion? Now, it's hard to say. This is the only time I watched the full 20-minute video. This is the only time that I've seen that whatever it is um, come across the screen. So I don't want to say that's for sure what it is. But I'm just saying that is a possibility out there. Now, for the one in the lower left corner, I slowed this down. This is going to go about 10%. I'm just going to let it play one time through here so you guys can see it all. And then I'll say what I want to say. So right away, we have light coming off the garbage can that moves. And then right on the side of the garbage can, right in here, when this thing comes up, it reflects off of it. That to me is somebody moving a flashlight or something and it's reflecting off. Um, I really wanted that to be an apparition or something, but I think that is somebody moving a flashlight. Um, but that first one that comes in that I have to go unknown with that one. I really did like that one though. I mean, yeah, if you can zoom it in, not all of us can zoom it in. Uh, <laughs> Well, try to please explain that face that I see behind that one that you had that one uh, uh, photo there you had left. on the left behind that light uh, anomaly. 
Um, you clearly see an eye. You clearly see an ear. You, it looks like a young man in his 20s. So which one? Wait, which one? The go one back and one? look when you get a chance, okay? Which one? On the one video, On that uh, photo that Ryan sent. I thought it was kind of interesting. But then I'm into all that. What, is that to do with this video that we just, just watched? Well, I'm not sure uh, what that second clip that you put up, Ryan. Was that just an example? Here, I'll oh. show it again. Oh, 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 oh. Let me. Uh... Oh. Which one are you looking at, Greg? This one over here, the one on the left. That is um, when the camera turned and looked at the SLS camera, that's the reflection that you get in the lens. Okay. Well, to me, I see a guy in the back. I see an eye. I see an ear. I see, you know, some some features of a, of a person. So, but again, I'm a pareidolia, you know, maniac. Um, but uh, uh, to me, that shows me maybe that there's some sort of uh, uh, paranormal essence there. So that's all. Very cool. Very cool. Now, do we have uh, uh, do we have uh, pre analysis polling numbers? Uh, we should hang on. Let me go there. Is this correct? Yep. Yeah, that is. We were at eighteen percent myth, fifty percent mystery, and thirty-one percent unknown. Hmm. All right. Uh, I'm really curious to see what they're going to say now. <laughs> exactly. So, to the audience, did your analysis change? Whether it did or not, please go vote again. We want to know if the panel has shifted your point of view on image number two. Remember, if your analysis did not change. Please vote the same one more time. You go over to At Myth or Mystery Live and uh, go over there and vote now. All right, uh, the audience uh, analysis is up next. And once again, we just wanted uh, to uh, thank uh, PNW Paranormal for sending that in. And, you know, I mean, Ryan, what you're doing there is is not meant to be anything other than just uh, your analysis, right? Yeah, no, it's a great video. And there is a lot of parts of the other portions yeah, of the video great. that we didn't show that were really good investigating. Um, they we're getting some pretty good activity in there, too. Yeah. And, yeah, and these good are, equipment, too. Yes. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, the thing is, too, is that these are just our opinions. You know, that doesn't that doesn't mean that uh, we we close a book on anything or anything. They're just they're just our opinions at the end of the day. Uh, so we did our analysis. What does the audience have to say about the video that we just seen? All right. So Jeremy's a light at the bottom of the screen. Looked like it was riding the wall. Can see it turn as it hit the corner. Um, Anthony didn't see a reflection on the trash can. Yeah, there was a little something there. Uh, Linda wants to know if Gig tells jokes. <laughs> He's not a stand-up comedian. Um, Joshua was going to say myth, but that thing by the garbage can was weird. Um, um, you vote Mother Mystery to go two hours. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, Jeremy. Um, I don't think we have a choice. <laughs> So Jeremy says, I noticed that too, Anthony, probably will see better when Ryan does this frame by frame. Definitely an interesting investigation. It seemed like it was. I still have no idea how it just disappears halfway and doesn't fully finish the path. Interesting point. Uh, like the bottom energy trying to hide or get away. Interesting. 
Miriam, are you saying the spirits are not ghosts in the clip? Correct. I'm saying that those, yes, they're, those are, for me, I was hearing that these were two beings that were trying to communicate and articulate, but that wasn't, that wasn't them. Correct. It's not two ghosts. Yeah. Um, the light on the side of the desk is from the SLS camera. Yeah, um, thoughts. Um, not, now that you mentioned the shadow with the trash can, when it moves, it looks like the gr grid also moves. Okay. Does Ryan go last because he debunks almost everything? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we always give Ryan such a hard time. We love him. We love our little robot, Ryan. Uh, Ryan helped in our last video, but sucked on this one. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're never safe. Uh, it looks like an arm now that you slowed it down. Has anyone seen the spirit go down on the antenna like that? Ooh, keep it clear. I have, actually. I, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> We're still not at the midnight show, Linda. Just keep it clean over there, will you? <laughs> Freaking Linda and her popcorn and her beer. She's um, like. Has, has the spirit ever gone down in an antenna before? <laughs> 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 okay. It was the only time we caught that while filming too. Okay. Um, also, no flashlights were used at this time. Good to know. Throughout the entire investigation, to be clear, that Greg, good. that's that what you got, Ryan, because he's a video spec. Well, yep. Brian is, we purposely brought Ryan in to throw a wrench in everything. We use IR cameras as our flashlights. Not trying to argue, just trying to say what was going on at that time. Since no arguing, we want to hear everything. That's why we want you guys here. I saw legs and someone holding a flashlight in that second video. Okay. That was okay. There's a lot going on here. Just picking up on what's going on. I wonder if it's the same energy in two different forms or stages of energy. Yeah, it could be. That's an interesting point. Um, it didn't. Okay. Oh, okay. That was, I was asking if anyone changed. Um, yeah. Thank you. We always love when PNW, this is their second or third time they've submitted. And every time it's been really good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you guys are doing a good job out there. Uh, Anthony says energy can neither be created nor destroyed. So where does it go? Um, it doesn't go anywhere. It's all still there. It's a matter of when it's visible to the human eye or takes a form that we can see if you are choosing to not see with your third eye. But if you're asking to see energy from a physical perspective, that's a different conversation. But the energy is always there, right? Um, and the energy is always there. So it's kind of like I wanted to make this point about that first video with the stuffed animal. You know, Poor stuffed yeah, animal. there's energy everywhere, right? So it, like to say there's like even even though I say this all the time for the sake of, you know, articulating, but to say like there's a whole lot of energy in a space is kind of ridiculous and redundant because there's always a whole lot of energy everywhere. You know, what we're what we're looking at is, is there energy that is, trying to communicate or wanting to be seen or trying to be heard or, you know, knows that we're there. And it's kind of like, I see you, do you see me? You know, that's really what's happening here. But otherwise there's always energy everywhere. And we're trying to capture it in a way that the physical eye can see it, right? Or that we can actually hear. One thing that that reminds me of is on, on um, you know, skeleton crew, they were in an investigation and Stacy's ex-husband, Bob, comes through and is talking like, like literal conversational. It's just insane. He says his name is Bob. He responds to Stacy. It's honestly the most I've ever heard that kind of interaction. So uh, anyway, that's just kind of to follow up on um, what you were, what you were. Um, oh, well, I'll always thank you. Oh my God. So, you know, if I could just say real quick, yeah, I do have a lot of good jokes, but this is a family program. Not to Linda Judd. <laughs> Not for Linda Judd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so true. That is so funny. All right, we got it. So, okay, here we go. Post analysis. We're at 31% myth, 50% mystery, and 18% unknown. So, wow. very little change there. 
Well, wait a minute. More people went to myth afterwards. Yeah, more went to myth. Mm. And we did have 31% unknown before, and now it's 18% unknown. Mm. Oh, that's so cool. Interesting. It is interesting. Tricky. We did it. We survived another show, you guys. Should we take a look at the scoreboard? Yeah. Where is that thing? Where is that? <laughs> uh, Greg, can you put it up? I can't. It won't let me access it for some reason. A dysfunctional family program. That's There we go. Very dysfunctional family. All right. So for the first video, we all said myth on that one. Um, the audience agreed with us, too. Mm -hmm. uh, the second video, we're kind of split there. Um, but the audience all believed that it was mystery. Pretty, pretty solid. Yeah, very interesting tonight. Very interesting videos and uh, what what everyone was uh, thinking. I, uh, it's crazy. That's what I love about this. You never know, do you? Yep. You never know. So, uh, so Greg, did we scare you away or you'll be back again next month? I appreciate everybody, you know, Ghost Inspector Greg. And mm -hmm. it's your birthday next month. Oh, yes, it'll be my birthday. So I will present a special video on that day on uh, Special viral birthday video. video? <laughs> uh, it's a mystery. It's yeah, sorry. not a myth. It is a mystery. And you got ants in your pants over there? What's going Dude, on? This <laughs> pillow I'm sitting on is just going right up my tuchus. Is that because we've been on for like four hours? It yeah. It has anything to do with anything? Hey, hey, we've gone longer, and Jeremy wants us for two hours, so... To be fair, we started 10 minutes late also. so That's true. Now, Greg, is your video going to be like, uh, you're going to be wearing a birthday suit uh, when you... I will not be in my birthday suit. <laughs> okay. um, maybe after the show. Okay, but <laughs> not not during. I, With I your mystery think, after dark. I don't yeah. think Ryan would appreciate it. Or possibly you know. in the dark. If yeah, it's that midnight that. show that we were talking about. You know, that's, you know. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Well, Greg, we really appreciate you joining us tonight. That was a lot of fun. Thank, thank you, guys. You. Thank everybody for thank having you. me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, thank you all for joining us on Myth or Mystery. Each week, we bring new videos for you and the panel to weigh in on. If you got paranormal on camera, please send it to us at mythormystery at yahoo.com. Once again, that's mystery at yahoo.com. If you enjoyed our show, please like and share. That's very, very important for us. Uh, we're going to be back next Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Central, here in Myth or Mystery Live. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Good dog. <laughs>